All right, so let's take a look at where we left off. Go ahead and press play. You can see here, let's see if we get uh, our AJ character here. Move them all the way back here. <clears throat> Essentially what we did is, I'm gonna change this from local to global just so we can kinda, say we want a camera that is, that's this one, clear shot camera zero. We want it a little bit closer in on the guy, right? On AJ. And then here's our camera one, just kind of giving you guys a little bit of a kind of uh, review. And then I hit control D on this. And because it's a child of this, it'll automatically add it down here. And then we'll make this one priority eight because 10 is the highest priority. That's this camera zero, 10 and eight. And then what we can do with camera two here is we just kind of move it way back here. And what camera two will do is we'll set the, and you have to play with this optimal target distance down here. And so what we do is we can grab our AJ model here and move them. You can see it cuts, it's on camera one, it's still following him, cuts the camera two. And honestly, at this point, you know, and then it cuts the camera two. And then as we get closer to him here, we gotta, we'll take this optimal camera distance down from here to two maybe. And then that'll cut to this camera, which is camera two here. So let's try that one more time. Here's our AJ model. We can do some quick cuts. So just showing you how to do um, clear shot camera. So what we're gonna do in this tutorial is we're gonna take a look at um, combining our dolly camera here with our clear shot camera. All right, so let's take a look at, here's clear shot camera one, zero and one. And I'm gonna actually move camera zero, let's see. Maybe I'll have them start behind him. And what I'll do is I'm gonna create a dolly from just giving myself a little bit of space to show you how to combine these two. I'm gonna create a dolly track from here to here where maybe it'll like zoom in, it'll swoop in from here to here or something. So we'll have like three different dolly points. So under camera one, right click, and I'm just gonna create an empty game object. And this empty game object, I'm gonna drag it above it. And the reason why I created it as a child of this is because I want it in the same position as this camera here. All right, so what I'm gonna name this is, go ahead and grab camera zero one here. And then just rename this camera zero one dolly track. And I'm gonna add a component here and we're gonna add the smooth path. This is what gives it uh, that track. See, here's our track here. Now here's zero and here's one, right? So if I click on zero here, that's our starting point and here's one here. So what I'm gonna do is select zero and I'm just gonna move it. Let's do global. And I'm just gonna move this over here. And then I'm gonna click on one and I'm gonna move that a little bit out here. We're gonna have to tweak it a little bit more because we're gonna be snapping. Actually, we maybe we'll do from here to here, we'll do like a cool, let's see. Let's just see how it goes. So let's select this and just kind of move it over a little bit, something like this. And select our zero point. Actually, if we click here, we can add one more. And we'll have this kind of like dip in here. And let's grab two and move that way in here. Again, we're just, I'm just showing you how to kind of play with this a little bit. Like just, just to, to learn how to set it up. Like when you have your own uh, cinematics for your games and stuff, you can, you know, you have this in your arsenal as a tool. And we're gonna have to bring this whole thing down, but We'll get to that in a second. All right, now on clear shot camera one, make sure that you, in your um, your look at override here, uh, actually what we'll have it do under the follow here is we're gonna go ahead and grab AJ and that look at, and we'll drop that in there. And the reason for that is we need to have that follow target in there if we're gonna have it work with the camera track, like the dolly track. And let's take, get rid of this too. We're gonna do none here. Let's make sure that didn't do that to the rest of them. And the reason for that is we just want the camera to follow the track for now. And so we can kind of tweak it. Maybe we could do both. Well, let's see how it looks once I, I set that up. Now down here under body, uh, let's see. 
we don't want uh, do nothing. We want to do, let's see, track Dolly. And then it's going to ask you, well, where is the actual cinema machine path that you want the track Dolly to, to work, go with? And that's this guy right here. And now it's connected the camera here with that Dolly track. And because I want it to automatically connect to that Dolly track, I'm just going to turn on enable Dolly here under auto Dolly. I'm going to set my search resolution to 30 and that way it gives me a much smoother uh, movement like across the this dolly path here. Let's see what else. Um, so under position units, it says path units here. We want to do normalized and that'll go from start to end of this path. So we can test it out now. You can see here, we're getting a little, we're getting the best of both worlds, right? So here I am, I have my AJ character walking in. And then once it gets to that camera, it follows him, it tracks him, and then it starts to follow him on a dolly, which is really awesome. And then it cuts to this camera here. So pretty cool, right? Like you, you're now you're combining all of those, those together. You're doing advanced camera work. And this is a real job within itself in the game industry is just somebody who's a cinematic artist. And I think that's good for this section uh, on clear shot cameras and dolly cameras. And I hope you enjoyed it.